U.S. President Biden has invoked an emergency law from the Cold War and asked the military to step in to address an acute shortage of baby formula. The Defense Production Act, giving the president power to control domestic industries, has been used to speed up production. The military will also oversee Operation Fly Formula to bring in supplies from overseas. Well, Dr. Stephen Abrams is professor in the Department of Pediatrics at Dell Medical School at the University of Texas in Austin. Uh, welcome to the program, Dr. Abrams. So we're seeing a situation where some people in the United States can't access this formula milk that for many is the only thing that they use to feed their babies. How did we get to this point? Well, a couple of things happened. There have been general supply challenges related to the pandemic that made formula supplies be lower than they usually were. And then one of the major factories in the United States had a shutdown and a recall in February of this year, and that kind of triggered the, this much worse situation. So we've seen some uh, uh, extreme measures to try and combat this shortage. How serious is it? Well, for some families, especially those using very specialized formulas, it's been a big problem. Um, for most families, it just forced them to really look hard to find the formula they need or to switch off between different formulas. We are hearing reports, though, of some people who can't get hold of formula milk trying to make their own. This isn't a good idea, is it? It's a terrible idea. The, the homemade formulas cannot really assure sterility and safety, and the nutrient mixes are not adequate for babies. Babies need either breastfeeding or commercial formula. So what should people do if they just can't get hold of the formula milk that they need? Well, if the baby's close to a year of age for a very short period of time, if preferably just a couple of days, they could use whole cow milk. Um, the other thing people have to do is reach out to their pediatrician, the food sources, and um, hunt around and also try to get help from their friends because uh, we're waiting, I think, hope, hopefully soon the situation will start to get better. But for right now, it's a real challenge for families. And you, you mentioned these uh, guidelines that have been brought in allowing older babies to switch to cow's milk earlier than they might have done. Uh, is this the right move? Will this ease the pressure on supplies? Well, we hope that if families who have babies are close to a year of age are, are, are able to give a little bit of extra formula that they might have for babies that are under six months of age, it will help make sure that those smaller babies have something to eat. We want babies to maintain on formula until a year of age, but certainly for a short period of time. It's one way to try to make sure that we have formula supplies protected for younger infants. Okay, Dr. Stephen Abrams from Dell Medical School, thank you very much. You're welcome.